Hi, I have here a list of projects. And what I want to do is implement a small, super simple search form in this list here so that I can provide a way to search the list of projects. The, this list is so short it's kind of ridiculous, but it's just for example purposes. So let's get started in doing that. So here's our index page with the uh, list of projects. And what I want to do here is add a form. The first question to ask yourself is do you want to use a form 4 tag or a form 4 helper or the form tag helper? In this case we want to use form tag because that is a kind of a generic form that can be used for something that's not specific to uh, editing a model's attributes like form 4 is. So form tag and then just pass the uh, the action that you want to go to in the controller. In this case we just want to go to the projects path and uh, this is generated by the RESTful routes, which I talked about in previous episodes. And that's an, this brings up another important point. When you're creating a search form, people often wonder what action it should go under. I often like to put it under the index action um, if it's a super simple search like this is. So here we go to the projects path, and then we need to implement a, uh, a search tag, a uh, yeah, text field. So let's do that. This brings up another important point. The text field, there's actually two different helper methods for this, text field and text field tag. We want to use text field tag here because that is kind of a generic text field that can be used for pretty much anything you want. The other one is more specific to editing models attributes, but we aren't editing a search attribute here. So just text field tag, pass search, and let's do a submit tag here, call search. All right. And let's see how that looks. That looks pretty good. And let's do a try out a simple search. And obviously that didn't work. For some reason it's trying to create a project for us. I don't know why. Well actually I do. It's um if you look back here, if you look at this form, it's trying to submit the uh the do a post request here instead of a get request. And the way uh, RESTful routes work, if you submit a post request to the project's path, it thinks you're trying to create a project. But we aren't trying to create a project here, we just want to search the project's index. And to do that, we have to make this a GET request. And we want that anyway because we want to be able to see the search parameters in the URL, be able to bookmark it, and so on. So let's turn this into a GET request. We can do that with method equals GET. And if we look at the HTML again. You can see that it's a GET request. And let's try that again. And for the most part it works. You notice that it did a uh, filter the results. That's because I already implemented this search in the index action. But I'll get to that in a little bit. For now, um, let's take a look at some of the problems that are still here. One problem is that the my search query here it did not pass along. It did not fill into this text field again upon doing the search. To do that, we need to pass the search parameter as a value into this text field. The second parameter is the value of whatever goes into the text field. And so if we reload this, you can see that the yard text search uh, shows up in the, uh, the text field. Another problem is um, up here. Notice that it says commit search up here. Now where do you think that's coming from? That's actually coming from the the name of the submit button. The name is commit and the value is search. And so the rail submit tag creates a, a submit button with the name commit. And we don't want to give it a name because if we give it a name then it shows up in the URL and that's kind of pointless for this simple search. So we can remove that by doing name equals nil. All right, and let's try submitting this again. And one more time, and you can see that the name of the search form is uh, not showing up in the URL anymore. And so that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy so far. The uh, Another problem is that if you look over here in our index action, you can see that I'm doing the search query here with conditions as a name like the search here. And so this is all fine, but it does kind of clutter up the controller, and I don't like to perform any kind of even somewhat complex searches in the controller. So I recommend moving this into the model. And to do that, 
and you can do uh, projects equals project dot search and just pass the search parameter into it. This is usually how I like to, to perform searches that are simple. So that means we need to make a search method in here for the search parameters. And then we can pretty much repeat the same condition in here. There are a couple other ways you can clean this up, but for now I think this will work fine. All right, let's try that. So we basically refactored that search into the model. This does have the benefit of making it easier to do a test. So you see here, I perform the search again and everything is still functioning fine. And so that's just a few tips on how to uh, implement a search form and move the search into the model. If you have any comments about this episode, hop on over to railscast.com and you can add comments there. Also, if you have any suggestions, email me at feedback at railscasts.com. Thanks for watching.